Hey folks, I'm back. Yay. Hey folks, it's Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Hi folks, I'm really happy I'm back. I really missed you all and I really missed making videos. I think my camera is about to turn off because I still haven't charged it and I still haven't used this camera since I last made a video some months ago. And yes, I'm back. First of all, let me say I really loved all your videos last week and I'm sorry I didn't get to make one. And I'm sorry I'm not going to make one this week, but just thank you, thank you, thank you, and I really love you, and it's just, ugh, I just can't put it into words, this channel is just so awesome, you're all really awesome, and I'm really, really happy I chose to do this project with you, and I just loved all of your videos, and thank you for doing them. Here I have some notes because I have to answer some questions that you had in other videos. First of all, Shane, you talked about politicians calling you or rather getting messages from politicians on your phone and you asked if that was the usual thing done in other countries. Well, here it's not. We actually had elections yesterday. I'm recording this on Monday, so yesterday, Sunday, 25th, we had Catalan elections for the Catalan Parliament. I only got like some adverts on TV, but only in a slotted time after the news. So it's like about five minutes every day after the news for like one month before the election. It's not like two years like you had. It's just insane. And during that last month, we have also like banners and stuff, posters on the street. That's all. We don't have calls or anything like invasive like that. Also something I noticed this year on the American election. The day before the election, all your politicians are still campaigning. And that's like super strange here because the day before the election is supposed to be a reflection day where you have to think about who you're gonna vote and everything. So that's just really strange. And I don't know if you know about this, but Spain is really fucked up. The economic crisis is like horrible. Like 25% of the population is out of work, is unemployed. And that's a really big number. We are like 45 million people. Of course, that's counting children and everything, but, but from the people who can work, who could work, that's 25% who can't find work. And a lot of people are under the poverty line, it's really strange if you go one day without talking about the economy or just hearing someone talk about it. And the Spanish government, they're just cutting expenses on everything and cutting on public health and on schools and, educa and education in general. And it's just really, really bad. There's lots of demonstrations with like brutal police attacks and everything. It's, and it's just really bad. And 50% of young people are without jobs. And a lot of people are going out of the country to work. And I think that's what I'm going to do after I finish because there's like no work here and that's a shame. So this is just where Spain is right now. And also these Catalan elections were basically, apart from the whole economy thing, they were really, because there was a really large demonstration on 9-11, which is the Catalan National Day, and lots of people, millions of people went to the streets to ask for independence so that Catalonia would be another country and it would secede from Spain. The parties that won want to have a referendum asking Catalan people if they would like to be independent from Spain, so to be another country altogether. And let's see if that works out or not. Okay, enough about politics. Emily, I'm really happy that you are back and Banjo, you too, but, but Emily hasn't been posted videos since, I don't know, before summer and it was really great seeing you again and I really loved your video with all the with all the catching up on old themes and that was really lovely. RJ, I really told you a million times that I'm really happy that you are a partner now. That is awesome, congratulations. Brie, we should definitely meet when you come. I'm finishing exams on the 16th of May. Then I have to do the work placement thing, but I don't know, I still don't know if I'm doing it in Barcelona or in my city, but if you're here on a weekend, it's like 100% that we can meet up. 
and that would be amazing. And also congrats on NaNoWriMo, because I just couldn't do that, it's just too difficult for me, so good for you. And I think that that's all, sorry that I talked about politics all the time, but maybe it's interesting to you to know this situation in another place in the world. Christina, I'll see you tomorrow. See you next week, bye!